Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be a tumbling. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. We've done tumbling so much that I don't even need to introduce it. Let's get right into it. Oh, so I'm really excited to tumble again. It's been a while. Today, my psych professor said that you'll never truly know someone well enough to marry until you've been... You've seen him struggle financially, you have a loss, or witness him while they're sick, and that just hit really deep. First eight ideas, freeze their assets, kill one of their loved ones, poison their freaking dinner. <sighs> Truly amazing advice, Tumblr. Truly amazing. <laughs> Lists of things that I think medieval peasants would love. Second day list... Well, I, I, I don't know what that is, but I don't know if I pronounced it right either. I tried. It looked a little bit French. Red Bull, Shark Week, The Mythbusters, that guy on TikTok that makes those absolutely insane cocktails, sex gifts, doing whippets, microwaves, nuclear bomb test videos, those skydiving wind tunnels. <sighs> we all talk enough about how, about, about how fanfiction writers give to, love to give character or, or is a large amount of non-specific paperwork they hate doing. Say more, please. Yeah, sure. Or why not? Some of us are take class take place when events are happening. And this means that no matter what kind of job the characters have, they're probably not too focused on them. Fanfics, on the other hand, often show the downtime, which means that the writer has to figure out what the hell these characters do in their jobs. Unless the characters have a job the author understands or knows while the author is often at a lot else for what, the, to, for what to have the character doing. So they sit them at a desk and give them paperwork. What is paperwork for? Rarely specified. It is paperwork for the characters. Important adult job they have, and they need to read or sign or something. There's always a line about how characters hate paperwork. Doesn't matter if the character is a mafia boss or, or a general or a diplomat. They are in an office, trying to get out of doing paperwork. There is also a sense of like humor and modernity that comes with it, like the examples above. It always basically stands out to me when a dangerous individual is griping about some paper they need to sign or something. The less you can picture character doing paperwork, all the better to force it upon them. If characters sell with paperwork, they're usually now concerned with about the physical damage their motley crew causes, because damage equals more paperwork. Anyway, I, think, I just think it's fun or funny. So I'm not doing paperwork and some I want us in Inuyasha doing paperwork, and this just in, Tony Stark is doing paperwork. Sorry, Phoenix Wright can't play right now. Yeah, it's paperwork. Because all adults do paperwork, right? I haven't worked on paper in freaking... And... And... and only 20. Social media is just oscillate between credit culture is dead and draw your interest without out shame, and we should bring back bullying and social ostracization every couple of months. Well, when the prairie population rises, the, the prairie population rises a little bit to bring it down, and it seems like that happens every time. So basically, when you get too cringe on social media, people will always be there to say we should bring back bullying. Find a, a Palladium Survivor. Locate Palladium Survivor. Locate 37 in Parasangs Paris north of the Gruen and of House Isner. I cannot read this. Return to Unanava and speak to Elder Choose by the Fed Earth Serpent. I enter town, head to the local mayor. Ask if they have any work. Yeah, there's a group with some. 
where now Bri and and knowing exactly where it is would be a huge boon to our village's safety. Neat, whereabouts is it? Three to seven parasangs north of the ruin of House Isner. I'm sorry, the what? The legendary revolve. I know what it is. What do you mean three to seven parasangs north? Wait. Yeah, I'll just mark on your map where the ruin of House Isner is and it. And you just head, head north from that and see if you can find it. Yes, yes, please mark the ruin of House Isner on map so I can find this place for you more e easily. Sure, okay. Imagine you're going to fr like freaking England and you're like, hey, can I help you out? And look at the other pub is like, yeah, I saw a, a nice chippy shop a few times over and I want to know the address. Can you find it somewhere? It's somewhere north of the hiding place of the true Excalibur. Let me give you the GPS coordinates for that. How do you know the GPS coordinates of the a true Excalibur, supposedly? But not uh, of where, not this chippy shop that you liked. <sighs> Again, right here, we're opening it in another tab. That's just the rules. Then we do this until we find something that we can read here. Because... I'm kind of sick of doing this every freaking post. <sighs> France being an English tech, a game tech jargon, and, and, and push to preserve language parity. Government officials must replace words such as esports and streaming with approved French versions. Isn't this kind of, kind of racy? France's culture ministry said the video game sector was rife with anglicisms. Photograph, all of these guys, who cares? This is legitimately the funniest thing I've seen all day. Of course it's French. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking in a version of accent for that, am I? The French government then declares PogChamp illegal. If you are a joy amateur and direct streamer for his uncultured English, you must say, Le Pogueurs. I hate it. Live again. I <laughs> I hate it even more. Thanks. Thanks, France. You ruined it. words. Whatever. Well, let's talk about Saw X with a girl in class today. I choose Hispanic, so we were, we were kind of laughing, slash complaining about the yellow filter they always put over Mexico and South Asians as Middle East. Andres and then that one asshole dude kind of started explaining how color grading was a very intentional choice made by the directors and how important it is to cinema. Like, okay, sure, maybe think about Hollywood advice, how Hollywood's bias is might affect their portrayal of certain regions because that's what we were talking about, not the concept of color grading. And he got really mad at me because I was like, OMG, you're so right, and started waxing poetically about the blue filter in Twilight was the best example of. Oh, reading I've ever seen film because it probably encapsulates the misery of the Pacific Northwest. Hey, we aren't that bad. I actually like it here. There's air here, and and we aren't full of bigots. I found the best thing to do with a guy like that is agree with them, and then apply their arguments to something very much associated with women that they think is shallow. Um, you're right. Color grading is everything but saying in the tone and mood of movies. They do that so well in Twilight with the blue filter to show the dreariness of the. For second Northwest, so that they can't contradict you without admitting that they're full of crap. But they also can't let themselves agree with your what you're saying, because then they look like they might believe that whatever girly thing you're talking about might have artistic merit. And they start turning colors. It's beautiful. People asking why I'm dragging the Pacific Northwest like this is a re. This is. This the answer is I live here. I live here too. I'm not miserable. I like it here. It's pretty. And I can breathe here like Colorado. Which is where my father is from. The feel when your favorite series is, is uh, either don't have doesn't have merch or the merch isn't available in your country. Theoretically, I understand why the anime merch stores at the mall only has merch for the most recent popular shonen, but consider the 
or sell t-shirts for my favorite 20 year old non localized er er gay. <laughs> okay, putting a flower crown on serial killers harms absolutely nobody. When was the last time someone was actually injured by a serial killer? The 50s? Sorry if you think this is. a trend, but playing a circle of flowers on top of a real human being that drove a 5 inch steel knife into an innocent person's being heart can be qualified as self-expression. Learn it. P.S. I play Reaper in Overwatch and uh, talk like Solid Snake when I'm on a phone. I should hack the stock market if I needed to. Bye. I, I can't decide what my favorite line of this is. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, I play. I played a game where they put a flower crown on a, a character that helps you cover up your accidental murder of your older sister. Oh, is that a spoiler for Amori? Nobody's playing it. Remember when you were 10 and you would hang out with your friends in order to look at the computer together like you went to their house and experience the information... And superhighway together and then leave. How fucking old are you people? Come on, out. Bruh, why? Finally. Now let's go back. Instead of making up shitty racist headcans of, of Miles shoplifting, do I be in headcanning and picking up ballet? Because he thought Gwen would think being a ballerina was super neat, it would help him, him in his fireman job. Absolutely. You. Keep talking. Spire strength he can't control, or plus lifts equals hilarity. Oh my goodness. I was already thinking to himself, do not eat the ballerina, do not eat the ballerina, do not eat the ballerina. Jumps, jumps! I was rightly googling how I could normal people jump, how I could ballerinas jump. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to jump straight to the ceiling and also I keep getting stuck up there, please help. What smiles, Spire sends pings lightly about back when he said, and he saw the crew matter. He I saw he had a bad feeling about it. The balcony collapsed later. No one was hurt, but now Miles has to go over set and pronounce them clear of bad feelings. He's not even good enough to be in shows yet, but nothing goes out, out without his seal of, of approval. Honestly, I have known so many stage managers and props to party people who are exactly this superstitious. And now in this case, they're not even and wrong, he literally has magic powers. I've also had a few dance leaders, and without ex exception, the reaction to find out this boy could get Earth's effortlessly hold them and sing arm lifts and get them to the feet in the air and catch them um, um, after would be pure glee. Okay, Glenda, look, we all know you Spider Man. Kids tear up on hiding it. But imagine this none of us saw him, we know, or oh, none of us tell him how high ballerinas can really throw their partners. And each class, we just keep on pretending like we're impressed with how fast he's improving, but you know, he's still got further to go. Uh-huh, yeah, I can see I see a look in your eyes, Glenda. You know exactly where I'm going with this. How high do you think Spider-Man can throw you? Okay, Glenda, stop giggling. The giggling is creepy. Desi, make sure her make sure please make her or uh, stop giggling while well, I can't read apparently. This is wonderful. One day in the middle of L LA class there was robbery going on in Black Way, so of course Mal was gonna rush over there to help out. He grabs his mask but doesn't and have time to put on his whole suit because he said he was going to the bathroom and it'd be weird if he was gone for so long. Cue Spider-Man kicking ass in ballet shoes and leggings. This act increases popularity severely and lots of people suddenly gain the interest in ballet. Boys too, because if someone as cool as Spider-Man does it, everyone can do it. With his back, the instructor er, is coming on the grip if in his shirt, the dirt on his shoes. Oh, the instructors don't come on the grip in his shirt, the dirt on his shoes, or smear paint out on his leggings. They make sure to treat the class afterwards. After all, it's not every day that Spider Man stops a bunch of bank robbers and manages to do a high for. Or, uh, without crashing through the ceiling this time. This keeps getting better. 
I love this post so much. Five tips for dating a werewolf. Congratulations, an individual all of the like other expression has expressed interest in you. What luck! What a fortunate event! Given that you might be new to the idea of people capable of changing into a four-legged beast, if not friend, wife, friend shaped, Luggy will be a handy guy to ensure your a new relationship stands the test of time. Five tips for dating a werewolf by TJ Clude. One, uh, if a werewolf has locked onto your scent, it's best to let them get as much of it as they can. If they're in shifted form, it might mean a wet nose to your face or a tongue in your hair. Fear not, they are in a way like a large dog, if a large dog were capable of human wants and whims. If you find yourself in such a position, do not move. Let the werewolf finish its scent marking. You can it could take anywhere from 5 minutes to 6 days, so get comfortable. <sighs> 2. Should you find yourself in possession of a dead animal left upon your doorstep, don't scream at or vomit. Chances are, it's from the same werewolf who sniffed you, wanting to make sure you are provided for. This is how like a, a throw express expresses, this is how a like a throw Oh, expresses interest. Be careful not to offend the wolf as they might be watching from, a tr from behind a tree bear. Or a bush. If you're averse to blood and gore, pretend someone dropped a pair of cherry pie filled with bones on your porch. On the off chance that the, an the animal is left by cold and not werewolf, please be prepared in case you are marked for ritual sacrifice. 3. Going on a date with the werewolf can be a fun event. Given that uh, you might be in public, it would be best not to Best not to ask your werewolf suitor to shift in the uh, all of alpha beasts to see if it scares the server into giving free advertisers. I mean, you will enjoy mozzarella sticks, especially when under threat of fangs. Using werewolf in this way to get fried cheese is considered bad form. Dear yeah, werewolf, your werewolf has feelings and no one likes to be used. If your werewolf does shift to get a you cheese, reward them by telling them you think they are a, the greatest creature in existence. Positive reinforcement goes a long way. Uh oh, your werewolf has driven you home. Are you single dev saying eyebrow and says, Are you going to invite me inside? Remember, werewolves aren't vampires, meaning they do not need permission to enter your residence. However, good wolves always wait for permission for entering a dwelling that is not their own. In this case, given the arched eyebrow, the werewolf, the werewolf is hoping to be invited inside for adult activities. This might include rolling on the carpet or having a it's of course in the kitchen or up against the wall. If you choose to do this, you might see the werewolf's eyes flashing. Good news! This means the wolf is having a wonderful time. 5. Your wolf stayed the night. How lucky are you? If you wake up in the next morning with the shifter laying on top of you, it's important that you do not move until they have decided to move on their own. Waking up a sleeping wolf can sometimes be difficult work, but if you keep a squeaky ball all next to your bed, now it's time to put it to good use. Squeezes near the wolf's ear and asks, Who's a good boy? Who wants to go play with the ball? Is it you? Is it you? Your wolf will most likely glower at you and throw your life, but if you squeeze the ball three times, the wolf will be distracted, throw it to the floor, and, and as the wolf chases after it, because they're making waffles. Four wolves love waffles. God have you for making fat cakes. You have been warned. If you have survived these first five steps, you are are recommended, and that means, means you most likely will have a werewolf for the rest of your life. A werewolf is a commitment. Adopt, don't shop. I assume this is a lesbian relationship until it's a, a good boy. Yeah, I... Can I enjoy Owl City if I haven't finished Owl House? Like, will it make sense? I'm really lost about the fireflies. Game. 
has any kind of elemental based fighting system? Me, apply Pokemon logic. To be fair, Pokemon element logic is not is rooted in normal logic. Yeah, everyone knows the wrestler's biggest weakness is the local pigeons. <laughs> Have you ever tried punching a bird? Okay, but here's my question. Why does dragon be itself? Dragon's weakness is dragon. Thorlet's explanation. They keep making new electric mouse Pokemon because they're fran frantically trying to recreate the success of Pikachu, or at least because it's tradition at this point. Watsonian explanation. A major predator of rodents and is birds of prey. A mouse that can deliver electric shocks to flying types has a much higher chance of living to produce more offspring. Thus, convergent evolution fills this niche in every region. Pikachu is just a Pokemon Un-Universe equivalent of crap. Isn't it weird that every region has more species than and, and the previous one, and, which is why every generation of Pokemon games has more Pokemon than the previous generation? Like, can't also most, um... Boring area to live in because it has like only like 143 species of Pokemon and then you get to freaking um, uh, Paldea with over a thousand different kinds of Pokemon And it's like oh crap we went from Kanto which has like only like an only like a hundred and, and something Pokemon and now we have over a thousand in this other place. Why is that? And like, it seems like Kanto is like the most... Most weird one because it just simply has only the e e e Pokemon that every other place already has. Actually, all f also, oh, all recreations are wrong because Flesh only evolved recently. Before that, it was Bone World. Okay. First, the Ozas getting damage from people booping them with camera has led to progressively more or re reinforced noses, and this has now culminated in first two noses becoming so rugged they can damage camera lenses. This feels like a demonstration of, of evolutionary pressure. Selective reading first suit heads to have noses made of those tools used to break our windows in emergency. Okay, this is gonna be the freaking last one. What? What did she eat? I, I'm so disappointed and proud of, the, of this fandom. I came across this on Instagram and like 95% of the comments were saying the same exact thing. Put. Jail! This is my favorite post on this app. <laughs> no, I want to do another. Can I stop having these? Yeah, I'm just going to skip into this one. These four's powers would be so much funnier if he didn't turn green. Imagine if you live in Teen Titans Tower and one day there's a pigeon sitting on the breakfast table. It's probably just Beast Boy. Probably, but it just sits there, pecking at cereal. You're left grappling with the suspicion that someone left the window open again. 
Alternatively, Beast Boy adopts an aquarium full of great frogs and lets them water around the tower for this exact purpose. And just imagine Robin's freaking disappointed face when and he's like, This is Beast Boy, isn't it? Cause frogs bring serotonin. Beast Boy brings stress. And the uh, and as Shawarma after, it just occurred to me Noir doesn't know that ketchup and mustard are distinguished by colors since black and white world. And it is trying to figure out what's in the bottles. The servers are Venom and Movie Venom. If no one is going to mention the two Spider-Man recognizing each other in the background. Okay. That was our slash template. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!